Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther. Today, we're gonna check it out some really cool solar facts in Illustrator. First step, I'm gonna select the rectangle. I'm gonna create a rectangle. I'm gonna double click on the color and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make a lighter orange and I'm gonna make it really dark. I'm gonna pull the color somewhere here. So it's gonna be like a really dark brown color. Click OK. Now I'm gonna select the circle. I'm gonna press and hold Shift plus Alt, create a circle like this. So this is gonna be the black color. I'm gonna make it pure black. I'm gonna press Control C and then Control F. This way it's gonna create another copy on front. Or you can go to Edit and Paste in front. Press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it down. And I'm gonna make this white. Select both, press and hold shift, select both circles, go to object, blend, click on make and make it look real smooth. You can double click on the blend options, select specify steps. And as you can see, I got it on 254. You can increase it, decrease it until it becomes perfectly smooth. Now select the blend. And now we're going to go to the transparency. If you don't have the transparency, go to windows and select the transparency. We're going to change it from normal to color dodge. It starts to create this strong gray effect. Now we're going to make this inconsistent a little more because right now it's really perfect. What I got to do is select the background, click on it, press control C and then control F, or we can go to edit, paste in front and then right click, go to arrange, bring to front. I'm gonna go to the gradient. I'm gonna drag this here. Let me check this black. I'm gonna double click. Now it's black. Good. I'm gonna go to the transparency, change it to color dodge. This also, I can click on it, press the letter G, and we're gonna bring this more narrow. And as you can see, it starts to distort these areas. And I'm gonna also play around with the little diamond here. Uh, this is too much. I'm going to press Control C, Control F, press the letter G, and I'm also going to rotate it. I'm going to bring the diamond a little bit in. From here, I'm going to select the circle again. I'm going to select the black color. I'm going to press and hold Shift, go to the center, and create a circle like so. And I'm going to also select the background, press Control C, Control F, and we're going to change the profile. I'm going to go back to default. I'm going to go to the normal linear gradient and I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to the transparency, change it to multiply. And I'm going to go back to the gradient. And now I'm going to press the letter G. I'm going to bring the diamond out. So this way we're going to make it more dark and more realistic looking. And this was it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.